now on WRDE Coast TV. Safety concerns in Dewey Beach, what police are looking to crack down on. And I was going to say I spy with my little eye, but I'm at Haley. I'm standing behind them in line right now, so it's too much fun going on right here at the Cape May Lewis Ferry Terminal. There's all kinds of fun and folks hanging out. Thank you, Paul. A plea to keep affordable housing in this community. Why one grant there might make a big difference. From the beaches to the bays, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News at 6 starts right now. A crackdown on teenage crime in Delaware's favorite playground. Good evening, I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with teens causing trouble in Dewey Beach. The police in the coastal town seeing an increased number of teenage arrests over the past few weeks. The department says they noticed crowds of unruly teenagers, especially over the 4th of July weekend. Coast TV News reporter Heidi Kirk shows us why Dewey Beach police say it's overwhelming the department. Security cameras picking up on increasing teenage crimes in Dewey Beach. As a middle school teacher, I see it in my classroom. Connie Jackson is sad, but not surprised to see that behavior in the streets of Dewey. Dewey's just a little microcosm of all of our tourists, and so whatever happens elsewhere happens here eventually. Dewey Beach police say fighting, underage drinking, and trespassing came up in shocking numbers over 4th of July weekend. It's a phenomenon we've never seen. Uh, the Dewey Beach Police Department did make numerous arrests regarding these juveniles, everything from uh, criminal mischief to disorderly conducts to loitering. No loitering signs, cameras, and increasing police patrols are all meant to curb those crimes. But ultimately, town leaders say... The parents should be responsible for what their teenagers are doing at night and where they are and what they're actually getting into. Town leaders are asking for your help as they try to combat this rise in teenage crime. So they say if you see something, say something. In Dewey Beach, I'm Heidi Kirk, Coast TV News. Meanwhile, in Ocean City, four teens and a 20-year-old from Virginia were arrested this week for handgun violations. Ocean City police say that they tried to pull over a vehicle that didn't have headlights on, but the driver led them on a chase and left Ocean, Ocean City on the Route 90 bridge. Police say one person threw a bag with a handgun inside over the side of the bridge into the bay. OCPD says 19-year-old Ibrahim Santawa Canoe and the driver, 20-year-old Matthew Osmugeta, both had handguns on them, but the three minors did not. All five are currently being held at the Ocean City Police Department, waiting to be seen by a Maryland District Court Commissioner. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what you think will cut down on teenage crime. Let's take a look at the updated results from last hour. A large majority said parenting, and they still do. Most people thinking parents can fix this problem. Well, if you haven't voted yet and you would like to, you can still do that on WRDE.com or our Coast TV mobile app. Let's go ahead and take a live look outside right now. This is the Hershey's Exteriors camera down there at the 45th Street Tap House in Ocean City. Just an immaculate day down in that direction. Meanwhile, our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams, joins us on the coast. He's live in Lewis tonight with a first look at the forecast. Well, first and foremost, uh, Halan and Haley, uh, they had to go ahead and catch the ferry here. I'm going to show you where the ferry is because uh, the last one is running right about now. So, yeah, if you miss it, you're stuck over here in Delaware. Let's take a look at our forecast real quick. Listen, in Lewis, 85 degrees right now, our current conditions, the heat index of 85 at this present time. And generally speaking, we're going to stay pretty clear at this moment, and we're going to stay clear for the rest of the evening with the winds primarily pushing at about five to 10 miles per hour. As far as the rest of this evening is concerned, looks like we are indeed going to stay clear for your ferry riding forecast. By seven o'clock, we're looking at the winds to push directly out of the south at about six miles per hour with the the um, waves at about just one to two feet, and I don't see the waves being a problem for us. Sun's going to go down at about 8.30 or so, and we'll still have sunshine with mainly clear skies. Winds out of the south at six miles per hour, and the winds will shift out of the south-southwest by nine o'clock, uh, and then we'll stay out of the south-southwest by 10 o'clock. Of course, the ferry doesn't run that late. Now, by the way, speaking of my 
co-stars at the beginning of the uh, newscast. Did you know like 800 passengers can jump on that ferry and over 100 vehicles are taken on that ferry as well. And this has been going on since 1964. Now, coming up, we're gonna talk more about all the different things that are available here at the uh, Cape May Lewis Ferry Terminal. But for right now, back to you guys. Thank you, Paul. No surprise to see Paul making friends everywhere he goes. Two Georgetown intersections are about to start stopping traffic in all directions. Dot says work was underway today to convert Pepper's, Con Pepper's Corner Road, Powell Farm Road, and Roxana Road to all-way stops. You can see on your screen another intersection that's being changed to an all-way stop tomorrow. Dot says construction is going to get underway around 9 a.m. at Gum Road and Roxana Road. Work is expected to wrap up by 3 p.m. Staying in Georgetown, the Park Avenue relocation project has been split into two phases. Dot says the Aero Safety Road work will be completed and reopened by September 2023. Phase 1 includes creating a fourth leg of the South Bedford Street Aero Safety Road intersection, adding shoulders and installing a roundabout. Phase 1 should be done by spring 2024. Phase two includes the reconstruction of Park Avenue and Route 9 with turn lanes and signals, as well as railroad crossing improvements that should be done in 2026. A small grant request that could make a big difference in West Rehoboth. The West Rehoboth Community Land Trust was created in 2004 to combat rising property values in the historically African-American neighborhood. Their next venture goes in front of Sussex County Council soon. Coast TV News reporter Charles Reinhardt is live in Rehoboth Beach. Charles, neighbors today said that the money is needed to keep the history of this community alive. Charlie, a new cycle of funding here would go towards repairs on what some call affordable housing, like this one here behind me here in West Rehoboth. Homeowners say that if this money does not come, some potential new neighbors in the future could be unknowingly erasing history. Carmen Blackwell grew up in West Rehoboth, a historically African-American neighborhood. She says the area is being gentrified at a threatening pace. Because we grew up here. These are our roots. These are where our grandparents um, were living, um, you know, when they were younger and could afford this land. So and now it's unaffordable. It's getting to be unaffordable for people that actually grew up here. The West Rehoboth Community Land Trust is hoping to keep families like Blackwell's in the neighborhood, applying for a $5,000 grant to maintain windows and sewer lines. It's a tough situation, you know, and you have to grant and bear it and, you know, and just be hopeful. And that's what I do. I live for hopefulness. The Land Trust partners with Habitat for Humanity to help build new homes, and Marchman hopes another Habitat home is in the future. Blackwell does too. There are several other families who are actually in the same category where we have affordable housing because of the land trust. Um, so it would be nice if we could buy more land in this community to help, uh, you know, not gentrify the neighborhood. The land trust grant request will be in front of county council next month. Marchman says that the Marchman says that they are currently looking for the next family for the next potential land trust property here, but no, I, there's no current word on when this home could come into fruition. I'm Charles Reiner, live in, Mel live in Rehoboth Beach, excuse me, Coast TV News. The Delaware State Housing Authority has allocated low-income housing tax credit. It awards development projects being built as affordable housing. There was a total of $3 million giving to three developments. Two of them are in Sussex County. They include the Chapel Branch Apartments in Lewis, which will have new homes for families, and the Cheer Gateway East Apartments in Georgetown, which will be for seniors. Potential development could be coming to Berlin. It could be happening here in Heron Park. Berlin Town Council is meeting right now to consider selling a portion of the park to developers. And we're going to have an update on that as we get more information on the potential sale. A lot more news to get to this evening. Coming up, a road will be closed in Laurel starting next week. What work is being done there? You know what I'm doing right now? I'm sitting on the dock of the bay. Right here, enjoying my time at Cape May. Lewis Ferry Terminal. We'll, we'll talk more about that live in a moment. But first, rescuing cats. Why, there's a mad dash to get these guys out of their current home. We're back in just 60 seconds. 
Jay Leno. These French guys are smooth, aren't they? Very. <laughs> I do declare, Mr. Henry. <laughs> and Kevin Ubex. But I'll tell you what, Kevin's gonna give you a hundred bucks, right, Kevin? <laughs> Bring their own twist. Get out of here, really? No, you get out of here. Ah! To a TV classic. Let's play. You bet your life. If I come home broke, my wife gonna kill me. Oh. It's all fun and games. Weekdays at 11.30 on WRDE Coast TV. Spring is here, Delmarva, and so is the pollen. <laughs> but you want to be outside enjoying the sunshine. By this time next spring, you could be suffering no more. Transform your pollen-filled outdoor space into a pollen-free indoor retreat, perfect for entertaining friends and family. With an all-season sunroom oasis from Patio Systems in Lewis. For exceptional workmanship at reasonable prices, Patio Systems is your pollen-free backyard living specialist. Locally owned and operated since 2001. Property next to BJ's in Millsboro is undergoing deforesting to make way for development. However, it is these woods where a colony of over 30 cats have been cared for by community members for the last four years. The sanctuary, Town Cats Inc., is working to get these felines trapped and in new homes before construction scares them all away or even kills them. But the organization says they simply need more time to do that. The bulldozing is just, it's not the greatest condition. We don't want to work under pressure. So if we can get a little bit of cooperation and communication between the rescues and um, the property development, it would be wonderful. We did reach out to the property owner for comment, but have not heard back. Town cats do not have enough room at their sanctuary for the cats that are on site there. They ask if anybody is able to help home these cats until a permanent home is found, that you please reach out. The YMCA of Delaware is hiring the Sussex Family YMCA on Church Street in Rehoboth Beach, specifically that you'll see here on the map. They are looking for school counselors, service representatives, child care staff, and more. There will be a hiring event there July 18th from 2 to 7 p.m. Well, we're entering a long stretch of heat and humidity, and that's going to bring with it some storms along the way. I'll have details on which days will feature the best beach weather. Yep, just after the break. Transform your outdoor space with Backyard Works. We are Sussex County's one call for all your fence, deck, handrail, pergolas, shower, and trash enclosure needs. Locally owned and operated, we make all our vinyl and aluminum fence right here in Harbison, Delaware, from American-made manufacturers. Cut out the middleman and deal direct. As a Timber Tech Platinum Deck Dealer, our trained team will professionally install your deck that will last a lifetime. Give us a call and let us make your backyard work. Bloom in the spring with East Coast Garden Center, home to the largest selection of plants on Delmarva. Our staff is passionate about finding the best plants for you. Whether it's annuals, perennials, trees, or shrubs, we have something for everyone. With over 70 greenhouses, we grow over a thousand varieties of plant material, providing Delmarva with quality plants for over 30 years. Every Friday, come in for a customer appreciation day and get 10% off plants. East Coast Garden Center, not just a nursery, a destination. Not feeling well? Before you head to the emergency room, consider your options. The emergency room is for life-threatening issues. If you have an issue that is not emergent, please contact your primary care provider. They know you and your medical history and are best able to treat you. If you need care and you just can't wait or it's after hours, visit your nearest Your Doxen Urgent Care Center or Title Health Immediate Care. To learn more about the most appropriate place for care, visit titlehealth.org slash where to go. We love the sun, but too much can be damaging. Even to your home. Curled shingles and cracked or chalky siding aren't just signs of sun damage. Those are signs that water and mold could be getting in. Call All Exteriors. They have same-day appointments available to show you your options and give you a quote on the spot. Call now and get free gutters with your new roofing or siding and no interest or payments until 2025 or payments as low as $99 a month. Call All Exteriors for your free quote today. I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. One of the saddest parts of my job is getting calls from people who waited too long to pursue a lawsuit. The law limits the time to file a lawsuit. Sometimes we get phone calls from people who waited years to call an attorney. Don't do that. If you or a family member were injured or killed as a result of someone else's wrongdoing or negligence, please call an attorney as soon as possible. Tip the scales of justice in your favor. Call Schwartz & Schwartz today. 
So if you've been watching for a while, you might have noticed we have a new segment starting up here on Coast TV News featuring our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams. This is On the Coast with Paul, who joins us live tonight at a very fun spot in Lewis. Because it's kind of fun. You don't quite expect to be that much fun. I mean, we're talking... I'm sorry, that's... That was the boat. <laughs> but anyway, we're at the Cape May Lewis Ferry Terminal, and the boat's getting ready to take off to go back across the way to take our way back to Jersey. But I mean, it's really a lot of different events. I mean, you can do the typical stuff where you're looking out on the sea, and we have the Cape Water Tours right over there. But also, even here, you have different types of boat rides that are available, whether they're private charters or just all kinds of spectacular views and all these kinds of things. Now, I do have a nice nifty. Um, ferry riding forecast. So let's take a look at that real quick. Now, as you take a look at this, listen, first and foremost, they're already in the last of the ferry rides for right now. But did you know that this started actually July 1st, 1964? Now, the trip takes about 90 minutes and passengers can enjoy, you know, all kinds of wonderful viewing. It carries about 100 vehicles and over 800 passengers can board the ferry. On board, the ferry offers Wi-Fi, elevators, seating inside and out, food, and more. And the Lewis Ferry Terminal, full-service restaurant, grain on the rocks, as well as, believe it or not, bike rentals. Now, as far as our forecast is concerned, listen, we're going to stay clear with the winds out of the south and then shifting out of the south-southwest for the rest of this evening. And then this also covers like a 17-mile stretch. So, um, so we're looking at a place where it's absolutely gorgeous and like way down there where there's like a bar down there way down there i'm just gonna say it this way they are on what i call central daylight time because it's five o'clock down there you understand what i'm saying listen or you could even do this just sit back and enjoy the atmosphere and enjoy the sunshine because that's really what it's all about enjoying the day seizing the day and enjoying all therein so i'm gonna kick back for the rest of the show don't tell my news director because you know what nobody likes a tattletale i'm chief meteorologist paul Well, maybe hang out on the coast like Paul was doing right there, right in the Adirondack chair. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous throughout the evening, up and down the coastline, even in, down into Ocean City. Take a look at this Gateway Subaru camera at the Commander Hotel. Pretty quiet out there. Crystal clear blue skies, boardwalk. And looking pretty quiet there this evening, surprisingly. The beach, though, still looking pretty packed. Some swimmers still out there in the water. Air temps. 80s and 90s still at this hour. It's currently 82 degrees in Bethany Beach, 82 in Rehoboth Beach. Milton, we're sitting at 89 degrees and it's 91 degrees in Georgetown. So the 90s, they have returned and they're going to be sticking around for quite a while. Dew points though, today a little bit more comfortable than what they have been. We're seeing dew points in the upper 50s to low 60s, except at the immediate coastline where those dew points are closer to 70 degrees. The humidity, though, unfortunately, does look to return by tomorrow evening. And then really late week, it's going to feel tropical again as those air temps, they continue to rise. Well, all the warm conditions, well, it's led to some very warm water temperatures. Take a look at this. Water temperature at Lewis now sitting at 78 degrees. Even along the northern portion of the Delaware Bay, water temps low 80s. So abnormally warm for this time of year. Water temperatures don't typically reach the mid to upper 70s until late July, late August, really, early September, if they ever even reach that. And we're already there this summer, and they're just going to continue to rise. Satellite radar picture, well, we're looking at pretty quiet conditions today and really for the next several days because we have a big area of high pressure in control, and that's going to keep us quiet, really not a whole lot going on across pretty much all of the mid-Atlantic, and that stays like that through Thursday. But as you can see on our beach forecast, it does turn stormy late in the week. Shankadega Island, low 90s, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Thunderstorms, though, arrive for Friday, so probably want to pack that umbrella and then also just listening out for that thunder. If you hear that thunder roar, 
move indoors. Fenwick Island up to 90 on Wednesday, 89 on Thursday, 89 degrees on Friday with those thunderstorms developing. We're going to see scattered storms pretty much throughout the entire day on Friday, and so those storms could produce some flash flooding. Pretty similar conditions in both Lewis and Rehoboth Beach. Rehoboth Beach, 85 Wednesday, 88 on Thursday, 85 degrees on Friday with those thunderstorms, 90s each day on the sand in Lewis. We can see that on our future cast. Stays pretty quiet throughout this evening with those temps staying in the 80s, and then tomorrow, sunshine, temps well into the 80s and 90s stays that way on thursday still dry take a look at the temperature in long neck 97 degrees our in-house future cast even has lewis getting up to 97 degrees so it is going to be a hot day it's also going to be a humid day so the heat index likely going to rise above the century mark friday clouds build in and we start to see those showers push into the region then it really that's going to stay unsettled friday all the way throughout the weekend our paul davis restoration and home remodeling seven day forecast well, we got thunderstorms in the forecast friday so just be aware we could deal with some flash flooding on friday more storms on sunday but outside of that it's just hot and humid highs in the 90s through next tuesday you can hear WRDE news and weather updates throughout the day on our family of radio stations, Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 FM, on 93.5 The Beach and on Big 107.7. Del Dot says Gum Branch Road and Laurel will be closed between Woodland Road and Clark Road. That's to install a crossroad pipe. Del Dot says the work will start Wednesday, July 19th. That work should be done Friday, July 28th. That is, though, weather permitting. And it is time to take another look at our Coast TV poll. We want to know what you think will cut down on teenage crime. And so far, it has been a runaway in this category, and it still is parenting. The overwhelming selection of everybody out there, 82%. Also, police patrols, that's coming in at second, although just 11%. Now, if you haven't voted yet, you still can. Go to WRDE.com or use our mobile app, and we'll show you updated results on Coast TV News at 11. The Del Marva Sports Network from the Wawa Studio. Hey there, sports fans. Welcome into the Wawa Studio. Today, we head back to the tennis courts for more Wimbledon action. It was Novak Djokovic facing Audrey Rublev looking to earn a spot in the Wimbledon semis. Third set tied at one set apiece. Djokovic with the forehand, a nice volley going, but Rublev somehow gets back to the backhander. And that is a winner, folks. Rublev fired up about it, getting the crowd into it. Later in the game, Jokovic, a strong serve. Rublev able to get the first one, but can't handle the second. And Jokovic takes the advantage. Set point for Jokovic now. He sends the forehand cross court on the serve. Rublev backhand it's going to go way up in the sky it eventually comes down but it won't come down and play and Jokovic will gladly take that one he takes a 2-1 lead match point for Jokovic now again a good volley going back and forth drops in the backhand Rublev dives but he can't get to it and Jokovic gets it done he wins it in four sets and he will advance that'll do it for sports till next time folks up next, oh shucks, what a local oyster house is making at the historic Lewis Farmer's Market this weekend. I bet it's something to do with oysters, but we'll find out what next on Coast TV News at 6. Let's do this! We make the show because people like you. It was like magic watching you. What's he going to do? I don't know. This isn't just any car that's on the road. This is Hot Wheels. Tonight. And this is the end of the world. They're going post-apocalyptic. This is the car that I want to ride in. Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge, tonight on NBC. Are you tired of contractors not showing up on time? Or not even returning your call? And why are you still waiting for an estimate? Maybe it's because the sales consultant that they sent isn't really qualified to make a proper quote only to find out the contractor isn't even licensed? That's why thousands of homeowners and businesses trust Del Marva's original crawl space experts. At Dry Tech, we're certified, trained, licensed, and insured. So your crawl space problem gets solved, guaranteed. Call Dry Tech today for a free assessment. The sound you hear is your house being eaten away by termites. When you've seen one, it's already too late and the damage has begun. To avoid permanent damage and to keep your home protected for years to come, call the specialist at Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions.
We have the tools, technology, and experience that has raised the termite control and treatment standards on Delmarva. Call the experts at Bennett Termite today. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. Tomorrow at 4 on Coastline, join Preston's annual car show featuring loads of family fun and discover unique finds at the 48th annual Lewis Craft Show. Plus, the inspiring story of community support. Coast Live tomorrow at 4 on Coast TV. Late Night with Seth Myers. Late Nights on WRDE. Follow WRDE Coast TV, Delmarva's NBC station. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. This would be a great week to head to the historic Lewis Farmers Market if you like scallops. Okay, listen to this. Justin Jordan from Henlopen City Oyster House will prepare scallops with a corn and tomato salad at 10 a.m. Not oysters there. The market will be welcoming a new addition, the Mahone River Farm from Dover. Customers can buy chicken and pre-order turkeys from them. The Farmers Market is Saturday from 8 to noon. Coming up new on Coast TV News at 11, this memorial still stands for a Worcester County teenager killed one year ago. How the community honored Gavin Knup today. That story and more on Coast TV News at 11. Well, you want to get outside this evening, enjoy some of this beautiful weather that we're seeing out on our Hershey Exteriors camera at the 45th Street Tap House in Ocean City. Skies pretty much clear, gorgeous evening overlooking the Asselwoman Bay. Temps still in the 80s to close to 90 degrees. Humidity is low, so that's what's making it so comfortable this evening. Tomorrow, the humidity levels start to rise and it gets even hotter. 91 degrees right on the sand. Certainly going to want to hop in those waters, which are sitting at about 79 degrees. Those water temps are going to continue to rise as our air temps continue to rise. We're in the 90s each of the next 10 days. Thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. NBC Nightly News is up right now. And we'll see you later tonight on Coast TV News at 11. Have a great evening.